I V M. Welcome to Pyar Actually podcast, an anthology of stories which will make you smile, cry, tug your heart, and show you how love manifests itself through moments like no other. Stories of people whose relationships stood through the test of time and shone like a natural diamond. Hey guys, I'm your host Ahana Kumra, and Natural Diamond Council and I have one big common reason to do this podcast together: that we both believe in love and its power to heal, help you grow, become a better person, and make you experience truly special moments. Every now and then, Indian parents don't approve of the one you love. Heard this story a couple of times? I bet you have. This angle might sound filmy, but in reality, it really breaks your heart. especially for couples who are forced to choose between the two but is there a way back from this is it possible to heal the pain and make their hearts change it's time to find out how aisha and my cousin karan's fate turned into this story his eyes aisha had spent her entire life being unsure about too many things but as she looked into karan's sparkling eyes she felt sure this was it he was the one Was this what all the songs and books were talking about? Was this love? She could get lost in those deep shiny eyes for the rest of her life. She wanted to get lost in those eyes. <laughs> Even if everything around her changed, she knew that those eyes would remain the same. Right from when they had failed the same driving test together. <laughs> to the first time they kissed behind the Christmas tree. They just looked as intense, just as kind. They were like sparkling diamonds that belonged to her. His gaze holding hers in a precious, unbreakable one. And she could not stop talking about the time when she twisted her leg during tryouts. Those eyes, those eyes had been furious, concerned, everything all at once. The strength and searing confidence in them had always been her comfort. I saw you on stage the other day. That's how the story had begun. After her speech in college on Women's Day, as her legs were shaking and her palms were all sweaty, he'd offered her a drink of water. Their first real conversation. From that day onwards, they always made it a point to deliberately run into each other. When does class get over? What are you doing this Saturday? <laughs> She finally gave in and went out with him to the amusement park in the next town. He won her a big teddy bear. She named him Karan too, and it was an inside joke between them. This is the way you get to be with me always, she said happily. <laughs> Both Karan and Aisha came from families where love marriage was unheard of. You married the person your parents chose for you. No questions asked. Sab ke liye it's worked till now. and i'm sure it'll work for you karan remembered his mother having whispered to him at his sister's wedding to remind him of the family tradition she was extremely particular about finding karan his life partner because his bride would inherit a priceless family heirloom dadi's timeless natural diamond wedding ring he had seen his mother take it out of the cupboard and hold it against the light sighing as the light reflected off the flawless natural diamond it had been passed on from one generation to the next a symbol of trust acceptance and love in their family it was the ultimate symbol of love but what's a good love story without a hiccup or two though it was evident that karan and aisha were meant for each other their families could not see that aisha knew that if her parents just spent time with karan they would love him too But both the families refused to budge and the stony silence persisted. Eloping wasn't an option for them. After all, what's an Indian wedding if it isn't big? After months of persistence, their families finally agreed to the marriage. However, this wasn't the happily ever after the couple was waiting for. Though both families agreed to attend the wedding, they had no intentions of staying in touch with Karan and Aisha. They of course wouldn't be an integral part of the wedding either. With a heavy heart, the couple agreed. 
at least they'd be getting married surrounded by the people they loved they could figure things out after that in a slow fashion so they did everything themselves found a nice apartment to begin their lives in furnished it and most importantly went engagement ring shopping together on one of their shopping trips together she found a stunning natural diamond ring unique dazzling and so beautiful that she just couldn't look away the diamond sparkled exactly like karan's eyes karan was glad that she found what she was looking for and he couldn't help imagining how beautiful his grandmother's priceless diamond engagement ring would look on her delicate finger aisha noticed the sparkle of his eyes fade a little and raised her eyebrows he reluctantly admitted that he was wondering why his mother didn't give her the family heirloom karan koi baat nahi aisha said trying to make him feel better but it did it did matter the heirloom diamond ring mattered the world to him but as he looked into aisha's eyes he was suddenly aware that she was indeed his world smiling he slipped the beautiful natural diamond ring from the shop onto her finger sure they didn't have dadi's ring but they had their own modern heirloom they could build memories with but picture abhi baki hai mere dost a few days before the wedding karan's mother came into his room with the heirloom diamond ring she looked exhausted and he realized that this was taking a toll on her as well karan you can give this to her after all it belongs to her now that she is a a a part of our family she was tearing up on the last word as if she couldn't bring herself to say it she kept the ring on the table and began to walk away her head hung when karan stopped her ma main chahta hu that you give it to her for the first time he felt he could afford the ethical luxury of asking her for this beta don't ask too much of me only when you give it to her yourself will i know that you've accepted my bride completely tab tak the diamond ring will be something we'll cherish as a symbol of love he waited for her to make the move but she never did 5 years later they were well on their way to their happily ever after or so they thought both their parents came to visit them on christmas eve to see the life they had made for themselves once the initial awkwardness was overcome it was a wonderful evening they bonded over the wonderful bangalore weather and found comfort in the steady flow of cardamom tea later in the evening karan's mother pulled him aside once again with the heirloom diamond ring in her hand nudging him towards aisha but he shook his head stubbornly and said are ma ab tak to you should be able to give it to her yourself it's been 5 years ma go talk to her she wants to talk to you for the first time karan saw his mother consider the possibility but as she edged forward they both heard the commotion in the living room ma we don't even have a kid Aisha said exasperated let's cross that bridge when we get there what did you get by marrying him her mother suddenly burst out what did you get by marrying each other Karan's mother interrupted Aisha and Karan stood there awkward and taken aback they tried talking to their parents but the day ended with them watching two cars being driven away from their doorstep Karan calmly held Aisha's hand twirling her natural diamond engagement ring as they stood outside their house waving to no one in particular I'm so sorry whispered Aisha Karan mumbled sorry about that They both looked at each other knowingly and sighed They knew they would get through this setback just as they had survived every rough moment of the past 5 years holding hands and hoping for the best Aisha and Karan found new reasons to fall in love with each other over the years They had a lovely daughter and found their own little piece of heaven 
Ria's favorite fairy tale was their love story. After all, she was proof of their happily ever after. But just as things were starting to settle into a routine, Karan got a call for an assignment to Belgium for 2 months. As Aisha stood holding Ria in her arms, waving goodbye to Karan, she felt her heart grow a little heavier at the thought of not waking up to his sparkling diamond eyes every morning. A couple of days later, Aisha got an unexpected call. She recognized the voice on the other end immediately. It was Karan's mother. Um Ah, uh, beta, I know you probably have no reason to speak to me, but with Karan being in Belgium, I didn't know how else to speak to Ria. I call her every Wednesday and Sunday. Pata hai aunty. Aisha completed her sentence. Thus began a small ritual that opened a possibility. A possibility of reconciliation. Every time Karan's mother called, Aisha spent a couple of minutes asking about her day and her health. What began as a small talk soon turned into an earnest conversation. Karan's mother started to look forward to Aisha's voice as much as Ria's. The next month they started video calling each other. Another sign of progress. Soon they were so close that Aisha even asked Karan's mother for her famous ghevar recipe and watched her blush with pride as she told how incessantly Karan spoke about it. After all, he was coming back home next week. Karan had planned his return just in time for the 10th anniversary. They had always planned to renew their vows on this special occasion. He had missed Aisha and Ria so much that he couldn't wait to celebrate with them. They decided to have a small party with family and friends. Aisha had planned everything from the guest list to the food to the decor, everything. But Karan had something truly special in mind. As the guests arrived one by one, Aisha kept glancing at the door nervously. Her parents were there already, but there was no sign of Karan's mother. She wondered if their newfound friendship was simply a matter of convenience and not genuine affection. Suddenly, she noticed Karan's mother entering her home with a big smile on her face. But before she could even greet her, Karan took her by surprise. He stepped in front of Aisha as their favorite song came on. Everyone in the room started cheering as Karan said, "Aisha, in the past 10 years, you have made me the happiest man in the world. If the rest of my lifetime looks anything like that, I know I've lucked out. Today, I want to celebrate you." I want to celebrate us. Let's renew our vows and move forward stronger than ever before. So today, in front of our family, friends, and our beautiful daughter, I want to ask you the same question I asked you 10 years ago. Aisha, shaadi karogi mujhse? <laughs> Unprepared Aisha was speechless. She hadn't expected this. She was in no way prepared. Most importantly, they didn't have a ring for the occasion. But Karan's mother saved the day. With Dadi's ring of course. A timeless beauty with a classic design. The natural diamond ring she had seen in all those pictures of Karan's grandmother. The one who had raised Karan with all those fascinating stories, he now told their little girl. Karan beta Here you go she said giving him the ring in front of her put this on Aisha this was my grandmother's wedding ring and her marriage lasted over 50 years but i told you that no ma said she wanted to give it to you and your mother's going to help plan everything Aisha we're going to do it right this time he said slowly slipping it next to their wedding ring Aisha's parents stood on the sidelines a little shy and came forward with the ring Aisha had chosen for Karan. Aisha smiled at her mother-in-law with joy. This time everything had been perfect. A moment like no other. As beautiful as Karan's sparkling diamond eyes. Later as she stood watching her parents play with Ria, <laughs> Karan's mother came up to her. They had spoken a few days before Karan's arrival but not after that. 
they began with a small talk as always but eventually spoke about all the little issues that had bothered them over the years karan's mother explained how in looking out for her son she had lost sign of what truly made him happy aisha felt a weight being lifted off her shoulder as she heard her mother in law talk to her without a hint of resentment and of course it would take a while to truly get comfortable but she knew that without a doubt she was accepted and loved karan's family diamond ring was proof of that baby steps aisha baby steps she told herself that night after they bid everyone goodbye karan joined aisha at the front door he held her hand now adorned with the family heirloom as aisha looked at karan's smiling face she said what she had been dying to say to him all evening <laughs> you told her to call me didn't you you convinced her karan didn't respond he simply smiled his eyes twinkled with mischief and delight as he whispered i love you right then at that moment she knew everything was perfect <laughs> <laughs> truly persistence is love's language and this story teaches us exactly that our love for our parents has a different kind of sparkle that lives in our hearts with or without their approval karan and aisha were lucky enough to finally get it no matter how many ups and downs they endured they emerged shining bright like diamonds living every minute a moment like no other till they had what they yearned for so guys have a story about how resilience and patience helped your love experience moments like no other share it with us thanks for tuning in see you all next week on pr actually with a new story of love until then this is ahana kumra signing off we'll be back with another episode of pr actually next week For more inspiration, insight and information on natural diamonds, log on to www.naturaldiamonds.com. Catch new episodes of PR Actually podcast on IVM Podcasts app, website or wherever else you get your podcasts from. Thank you.